turn the music up and let it bang. When we hit the lane, you got to get up out the way. When we going in, we be going all day. And we ain't coming out until we get our victory. Wait a minute, yo. We've officially hit the home stretch of both fall and the volleyball season on this gorgeous campus on the near northwest side of Indianapolis. Man University playing host to conference rival Bethel, a school that seemingly has had Marion's number in volleyball these last couple of years. In fact, the last two times these teams have played in this building in regular season play, the Pilots have claimed the victory as they did earlier this year up in Mishawaka. My name is Greg Regstraw, joined by the eight-time state champion winning coach in her days at Cathedral High School, Gene Kesterson. And, and Coach, this the is the culmination of the regular the season. Marion plays the other this three evening, top teams in the top half of the, of the league of at Bethel home University in the next four days. Mishawaka, it's a crazy Indiana. finishing stretch for Mary. It's University, like a showtime. <laughs> show me what you got. Admitted Coach can make some adjustments, hopefully, ahead of the time. Athletics. But it's the, the end of the NAIA season. Let's, let's see Indiana how we progress. Beca because of the teams they play with Taylor and Indiana Wesleyan coming up on Friday and Saturday, respectively, Marion can play their way to the number one seed in the Crossroads wow. League. They can frankly play themselves kind of onto the bubble in terms of the national tournament consideration. Again, there's a lot that rides on what happens tonight and then Friday night and then Saturday afternoon. We'll take this quick time out when we come back. Starting lineups here from the PE Center. It is Bethel and Marion. It comes your way next at ISC and Comcast 81. Getting 30% off any Donato's pizza during Peace and Love Days is kind of a big deal. It's a huge deal, actually. Get 30% off any pizza during Donato's Peace and Love Days when you order online. If you dig a great deal, dig into a pizza before this deal is over in just a few days. Order online today using promo code LOVE. Donato's, every piece is important. I went to Marion for the education, but what I took away was the experience. Marion University is like a home to me. Plus, downtown Indy is just 10 minutes away from campus. Marion University offers an exceptional education and an unforgettable experience. Apply today at marion.edu. I've always liked Indianapolis. Um, I've been interested in the bigger city life. The community and everything fell into place. With my degree, I plan on becoming a pediatric nurse. Indianapolis has several hospitals and different options to choose from as to where I should go. I chose Indianapolis because I love the Pacers, I love the Colts, and this is a basketball city. Just wants to stay in the city, play in front of my friends and family, and try to give Marion my best. Meet Chip. 30 years ago, he started a small business with a big idea. Today, there's a new building, a new fleet of equipment, and a new era of leadership. But we know Chip. And at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he plans to keep growing, building business with the next generation. IMCU is here to help with secure and simple account management tools and commercial financing to grow business. Today, it's all about CHIP. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. Starting line is being introduced at the PE Center, first of all, for the visitors, the Bethel Pilots. We'll turn it over to the public address voice of the Marion University Knights and Mark Cardosi when it gets to the Marion ladies getting ready to be introduced. Coach, kind of final thoughts before this one gets going. Final thoughts, um, I talked to the Bethel coach and she said, we always play better against Marion. <laughs> she goes, I go, what's the magic form to that? I have none, I don't know. But they bring out the best of our team, so I expect a barn burner. And this is easily a match that could happen again. Could be in Mishawaka, could be in Indianapolis, depending on what happens in tonight's game. Again, the regular season finishes on Saturday, then it is the conference tournament that is played on the 5th, 9th, and 12th quarters, semis, and finals. Mark Erdosi with the starting lineup for the Marion Knights. A 5'10 senior middle hitter from Indianapolis, Indiana, number one, Jalen Norwood. A 6'1 junior middle hitter from Pendleton, Indiana, number two, Avery Landman. 
a six-foot senior outside from Muncie, Indiana, number seven, Skyler Van Oates. A 5'6 junior center from Newburgh, Indiana, number eight, Ainsley Neighbors. 5'11 sophomore middle hitter from Louisville, Kentucky, number 11, Jamison Summers. 5'8", freshman defensive specialist from Fort Wayne, Indiana, number 12, Emma Lyons. The Knights Libero is a junior from Grafton, Wisconsin, wearing number 18, Jana Bell. The Knights interim head coach is Riley Anderson, and she's assisted by Diego Gutierrez, Cato <laughs> Spangler, and the student manager, Lauren Brammeyer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, your Marion University Night. Mark, thank you very much. It is Dig Pink Night, as you can see, with the accents all around the court, and you will see a copious amount of body paint on some of the football <laughs> players that have just made their way inside of the PE Center as well. This Marion program, three years removed from winning the national championship. They've been a part of the national tournament each of the last two years. And again, if you don't follow NAI Volleyball, basically you play one home match or road match, depending on what your seed level is. You win that one on November 19th. You are on to the national tournament then in Sioux City, Iowa. Again, both these schools are in good position to go, but how the next couple of weeks play out could make a world of difference for each of these two teams. Your reference talking to Coach Weiss of Bethel for interim coach Riley Anderson for Marion. What was her thoughts before tonight's contest? Coach Weiss? Yep. Uh, it was basically, um, I don't know why we play so well, <laughs> but we do. But their offense runs through their middles. Their middles are very, very good, which means the first ball contact on their side is going to be imperative. They have to control the serve and stay somewhat in system or quality so they can at least get their middles in, in um, offensive action. One of the things that you notice uh, about this Bethel team is they are very balanced. Cheyenne Seymour leads them in kills with 246, but she is one of four players that has 200 or more. If you drop that number to 175, they've got five players that have that total on the season. This year for Marion, it has not been their normal balance. It's all about Skylar Van Note. Yes. She is five shy of 300 for the season. And she's just a phenomenal, her volleyball IQ, I think we talked about this before, she under, she she can hit the she can tag the sideline, you know we just call it like a postie stamp in the corners. And Alliance with the opening serve from Marion. There's Van Note, angle ball without much on it. Lefty swing, dig by Lions. Push one, push to the back line and score it for Jay Lynn Norwood, the dual sports national champ in both volleyball and track and field from Lawrence Central. First point goes to Marion. Yes, Coach Anderson said that she's basically strictly right side. Uh, so it's a little healthy shoulder. You know, still nursing that a little bit. Norwood second on the team and kills at 167. Powered home. That ball absolutely pulverized by North Green for Bethel. Went through a nice double block. Um, it was there, but I think she hit a little bit low between the seams. And see the coach calling this the service zone, zone four. Short ball, Landman with the angle, and Casey, you got it for Bethel. Point goes to Marion. You, you get, sometimes you just have to do the off-speed shot, just to, so the defense doesn't know the state deep or short, so keep them off, off guard a little bit. Gianna Fell back to serve, the libero from Grafton, Wisconsin. Majority of players on this match will be Indiana natives, but not all. Block is there, and Bethel had rotated forward. Back-to-back -back points go to the Knights. That was a great block. A nice, you know, it was a, if we watch right here, you see both blockers set up. The hands push back to zone six, which is what you want. That was very nice. That was very well done. Michaela Whitaker on the lefty swing. A little debris on the court picked up by the Pilots. Fell to serve. Short ball, big swing, block is there waiting. Fell the dig, it's off the R1 stanchion, out of play. Point goes to Bethel. 
But really, the, the block was solid, so she just went a little high hands with the swing. So the libero heading back to serve now for the Pilots. Jacqueline Fernandez from Elkhart Memorial High School, which is no longer a high school. Now Elkhart. Norwood. Great reaction that time by the freshman from Louisville. That was Summers after Norwood thought she had the put away shot. She did not. Summers able to finish it up. You'll see it here. And just tip where there's no one. You know, that's usually on the, on the wings, there's the wings near the sidelines, there's no one home. Summers fifth on the team in kills with 106 on the campaign. Sophomore from Mercy in Louisville. Bump set for Van Notes. A rare errant swing for Van Note. It's hit a little bit high. Quicker arm swing might have had the court, also might have had the block. Elise Schildermans will enter. We mentioned that most players from Indiana, well, Elise is from pretty far from Indiana. She's from Belgium. <laughs> they come from everywhere to play American volleyball. Off the slide, Summers. Second kill, that is of the more conventional variety, Point Knights. A little slide behind, arm high, and just take it inside, inside her, her left shoulder. That was great. So Van Note back to serve. The super senior at Marion, her fifth and final year of college volleyball. She'll be back in college volleyball, maybe on the other side of the co or coaching. Block is there waiting. Once again, Summers got a little help from Brooks. The block was well set up, the timing was perfect, and they just pressed their hands as the ball penetrated the net. That was very nice. We'll see great squad rotation for this Marion outfit. We'll see really 10, 11 players rotate through. Van Notes misses the serve. Looks like she was trying to serve short zone. And something you'll notice too, she's gonna rotate out, which is, is new for Marion, because we have yes. talked about this the last couple of years. Basically, everybody else rotates, not her. She's now starting start to take some, some, some rotations off for this team. You gotta stay fresh. I mean, she's the go-to hitter in the front row. You know, let someone you know, pass the ball, save her legs a little bit so she can attack and block. Rachel Vendel on the serve. Set across, good read. That's a great dig on the pancake. I'm glad you do, it's a pancake. Angled opportunity. But Schilderman's just knuckles up into the sky. Short set, big swing, block waiting. Point goes to Bethel. The hands of Maddie Payne and I know you've got her block stats memorized from a year ago. Oh, yes. She was just like press over the net, block, block, block. Yes, but you see that? Their, their, their middles are their go-to defensively and offensively. Maddie, in addition to being an outstanding high school volleyball player, was a state champion in wow. basketball at Northwood High School, 3A level, three years ago. Kind of an awkward looking swing, but it worked out just fine. A line drive in the box score off the hands of Madison Brooks, Point Marion. You're right, point to point, doesn't yep. matter how it happens. And they have to stay deep. So, you know, when you attack the ball that deep, the defensive players have to, have to respect that. Sydney Schaefer to serve. 50-50 ball that back row attack is gonna be called. You want to do a little a little teaching time here, little, Coach? The back row player cannot take the ball that, that has penetrated, that's above the ball, above the net, excuse me, that is part of the ball has penetrated over the net. So it was a back row attack. Another kind of inside out serve by Schaefer. This time, though, Bethel had it better covered. Point yes. goes to the Pilots. Yes. The block hands were a little late in, in closing and penetrating, um, but that could be because it, the, the set was a little bit quicker tempo. Payne to serve. Payne third on the team in kills. 212 entering the match. Set across and not out of danger just yet. Scramble by Bethel. Kind of an awkward bump set, but there was a touch there, which yes. is exactly what Brooks was going for, Point Marion. What kind of going for? The only thing she had was find yep. the hands and wipe them off the hands. And the block, there's really not much you can do in that situation. And that's kind of the one area that seems a bit unsettled for Marion. They have been trying some different things at the 
setter position. Where we're missing one important piece of this upcoming point. The ball that has been secured. The ball, it's kind of important. It's rather important. Ainsley Neighbors to serve. Neighbors second on the team in assists. Short set, big swing, good results. North Green with the put away. Okay, if you, if you watch, she's just going to drop her left, uh, her thumb, excuse me, her right thumb down a little bit and hit that angle to the sideline with some power, with a lot of power. Madison Bieber to serve. Fifth year senior from the state of Washington. Set across. Weiss to the back row. Short ball, big swing, and kind of pulling that from the top of her shoulder that time yes. was Landman. And that was nice. She had one-on-one -on -one blocking. If you watch here, one block, and she just turned it back. And I think the last time she, she scored a lot of points that the last time we did a game that she just pulled to her left, pulled to her left. And then she hit to her right, hit to her right. Landman 75 kills on the season. She's played at about 80% of the sets so far for the Knights. Back and forth so far. Off the slide, hands there waiting. Set across for Weiss. Dig by the Knights. Van Notes. Net contact made by Bethel. And again, Van Note, if we need a point, go to Van Note. Scores a point. I mean, it was an error in the blocking, but they have to make sure that they penetrate to take out some angle. Otherwise, Skyler's going to have the entire net, entire court in which they hit. Set across for Weiss. Again, block waiting. Going over on two. Still in play. <laughs> North Green, no longer in play. Point Bethel. They're going a little bit quicker tempo. Uh, actually, a little bit both sides, but especially Bethel. Push to the pen so the blockers can't get there. So we'll see if that plays out and that goes to the advantage of Bethel. Diane Seymour, who leads Bethel and kills, now rotates it. Paige Hickey on the serve. Van Note. Off the block and down. Give it to Jalen Norwood. And that, that was a smart play because I think the, the block were just starting to release to the outside. And you get Van Note up there. Let's, she's going to really demand two blockers stay yep. with her. So here's Feld, her second service rotation. Feld, one of the few players. In fact, as I quickly read, she is the only player that has played in every set this season for Marion. Big swing, good result. You can see why that young lady in Cheyenne Seymour from Laporte High School leads her team in kills on the year. And they're just going to quick tempo. And the, the issue, the reason they can do that is they're passing the ball well. So Mary might have to put a little bit more service pressure so they can't just be consistently pushing the ball outside. Ball floats. First service error by the Pilots. Marion has had one as well. Brooks will rotate back in. Katie Hardigree to serve. Falls off the table. Hardigree for Brooks. Off the hands and down. Five-point lead, largest for Marion. That was wonderful. I mean, the setter really switched it. They just rotated and flipped the direction. Watch. Everyone's going to be on uh, Marion's left side, and then she just sets behind her. And the blocks were not even, even close to being there. Set across. Hands waiting. Double block by the Knights. Block again was waiting. Good job by Payne to keep it alive. Felled the bump set. Van Note. One of the things we talk about Van Note, we mentioned her IQ, but also kind of like a pitcher. Change of speeds. Yes. Brought the fastball that time, and that earns the point for Marion and the timeout taken by Bethel. Hey, if we watch right here, the block, she sees the seam in the block. Boom. Right over the, the top of the middle's hand. I'm pretty sure Skyler sees points, three points before they happen. I think so. She has played so much volleyball I over the years. I should ask, you know, if she knows the lottery numbers or <laughs> whatever. <laughs> It's timeout presented by our friends at Triple A Roofing. When it rains, it pours, so trust the pros at Triple A Roofing. That's who we call. 
Many thanks to our tremendous ISC Sports Network crew in the truck. Vincent Morellas, Derek Schultz, and Word, Alec DeFort. On cameras, Jordan Shue, Rob Lynch, and Alan Hughes, better known as Biggie. Thanks to our tremendous crew. We're looking forward to being here a second night in a row tomorrow night for a completely different sport. The beginning of the men's basketball season. Scott Hetty's team taking on St. Xavier out of Chicago. Two days before then playing an exhibition game at Indiana University. We'll have the coverage for you on ISC and Comcast 81. Longtime DePaul head coach Bill Fenlon joins me for the coverage again tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. So, Greg, do you have any off days? At some point next year, I think. Okay, good. Maybe. You are the man that can just have the showcase all these wonderful athletes, whether they're Marin University or high school athletes throughout our state of Indiana. It's the joy and, we have here on ISC. And you do an incredible job, you and your entire team. Thank you very much. It's a hard agree to serve. From Brownsburg. Short ball. Great job to kind of steer around the pass that time by Whitaker. Interesting, after a timeout, they teep, they went and tipped deep corners. So someone on the coaching staff over there, the bench thought deep corner, deep corner, deep corner, or just deep. There's Schildemans to serve. Serves Van Note off the slide. Summers, even after taking a break for a couple rotations, continues hers, her hot play to start the match. Six point lead for Marion. And it's interesting when Van Note's out there, they're running the right side offense a lot. Um, and it might be the scouting report that the block doesn't close well enough. So we'll see if this continues. Shulermans, short ball, Van Note the dig. Angled swing. Great dig by Felt. Now Brooks. Payne, maybe an out ball played by the Knights, but not done yet. Silverman sets across and off the hands and down, give the kill to Seymour. That was a nice rally. Both sides, that was very nice. Some good digs, uh, nice healthy swing, just tool the block off her hands. So Van Note will take a break as Allison Reeves will rotate in. And Rachel Vendel heads back to serve now for Bethel. That one did clip Hunter, that's an ace. That nice little floats. I think it was last game we did that the side they're on got ace more times than the other side because of the air currents. This went the other way. Hard degree sets across for Hunter. Was there a touch there? No. Nope. So three points in a row for Bethel, the lead sliced in half. Okay, there was a, the middle stayed with uh, Marion's middle. There was a little seam, but this didn't, I, I didn't think she just followed through with the attack. Hands are there. Good recovery by Dreves, but put away for the pilots and make it four in a row now for Bethel. They're just not in control. The first ball contact needs to be better for Marion so that they're not as predictable with their offense. So first ball contact. And Marion kind of slowly built a cushion and pulled away in this set, and Bethel has yanked it right back. They're not staying as aggressively, offensively, as they have in the past. Hard degree, short ball, Summers. Great play by Vendel. Big swing block is there. Here's Hunter. Couple of touches off the block and another point for Bethel. Timeout probably coming. There you go. Well, the timeout taken by the Knights. Five in a row for the Pilots and we're a point away from being a level here in set number one. Tonight's match presented in part by Pepsi. Grab a Pepsi and some friends and get in the game, Pepsi. Proud partner of the Marion University Knights. So what's the conversation like in the Marion huddle right now? 
uh, pass the ball, be more cons and, and really move the, f the platform needs to be better and really focus on watching the ball into your platform. It's almost to that point right now. Um, defensively, stay aggressive. The, the tips, they're kind of covering that. The deep corners are open, if you see with some of the attacks. And get uh, Skylar Van Note in the front row. Well, Skylar currently on the bench. Again, that, that's a new concept for, for Marion. Trying but to maybe get her some rest going into the postseason a little bit. Knowing she's got five seasons worth of, of college volleyball on the legs at this point. Uh, yes, and, and uh, she's going to be jumping a little bit higher than some of you. Talk to both coaches. It's like we need to survive in advance, survive in advance. You talk to Big Ten coaches, survive in advance. There is almost a sense of relief when you know you're done seeing your league opponents for a while. <laughs> it After is, you played it? them, you know, for a third time in the span of, you know, two months. Make them watch a new game film. Be interesting to see what the game plan is for Marion after the timeout. Big swing, great dig. That was Vendel. Hard agree. That hit the pin, yep. Point Bethel. Make it six in a row. These are, a lot of these are mistakes that Marion's making right now. So they can clean it up. You know, it's a tie ball game. Both Still. teams hitting north of 250 at the start of this match. Hunter. Block is there. What a swing. Pain on the recovery. And here comes Van Note right back in. Yeah, back row option. The Bethel's back, their front, their entire back court was in, almost inside the 10 foot line. So the deep corners would have just, it's open. Big swing from the back. Diagonal ball, great dig. Brooks. Weiss. Black is there, it's still playing. Not done yet. <laughs> and this one will fall. What a way for that point to end. Well, I said push the ball deep. Rally and of the match, probably rally of the season that we have broadcast on ISC. You just don't give up. At this point of the season, it's so important that you just keep going. You just don't quit until you hear a whistle or a fire alarm, whichever comes first. And Marion 12 and 3 in league play. Bethel 10 and 5. And finally, a point goes the way of the Knights. Ends a streak of eight consecutive points. Wow, in volleyball, that's like unheard of. But they just switched their right side and had her swing middle. But they had the good pass. It all starts with the pass. Here, right here, pass, right side swings around, goes after the smaller blocker's hands. Schaefer on the serve. Big swing for Weiss. There was a touch there. Point goes to the Pilots. It looks like Bethel's just playing a little bit smarter right now. I mean, going high hands, they've done that the last couple times on the outside. And it's going to be serve receive. If Marion can receive serve and get back in it, I mean, two points in volleyball is really not that much. Okay, one point in volleyball is not that much. Second service error by the Pilots. Okay. Number one coming into the lineup does help. Um, because she, I think she's going to command a little bit the, the offense to, excuse me, the defense to stop her. Ainsley Neighbors will rotate back in. In two-setter attack for Marion. Diagonal ball in Norwood. Kind of drifting to the path of that one. Couldn't do much with it. And that happens sometimes. Just look at she's like, I can't believe I just went for that ball. I thought it would have been out. What do you think, Greg? I think so, too. Okay. So it is a 10-2 run for Bethel. Low line drive of the serve. Norwood. 
And that's in play. Yes. And that is a miss and no touch there. Again, error, error. But a lot is Bethel, what they're doing. They're keeping the ball on the other side of the net and just making it go to the other side of the net, excuse me. Bethel now hitting over 300 in this opening set. Norwood hits it at the block and it comes right back to her. And Marion's not gonna burn their second timeout of the set. So when it looked like the Knights were cruising, now it's anything but. Bethel, three points away from claiming set one here of this match. Let's thank our friends at BSN Sport, the preferred provider of apparel for Marion at Night Athletics. Again, thank you to our friends at BSN Sports. All right, where do you go to school if you're married? We're gonna show you some of the highlighted plays for Isabel North Green for Bethel. She came into the match second on her team in kills. Tied with Payne for block shots, the lead as well. Isabel North Green from Fort Wayne. She's been a difference maker for sure for Bethel tonight. I can hit right side, I can hit to my right, I can hit to my left, stop me. She has got four kills, she and Maddie Payne tops of that. Numbers continue to drop for Mary, they're hitting a buck 75, while wow. Bethel hitting 333. This needs to be a sense of urgency, I think, on Marion's side, and I, I don't know if I'm seeing this yet, but I did see a sense of urgency in the timeout by the coach. Yeah, Coach Anderson was, the eyes were moving and the intensity and the head nodding was a little bit more. Tough serve. Hunter. Weiss and just a okay. bad swing. A that's break one, for Marion. That's one of the first errors besides the service yep. that I've seen. To your point, that's the third attacking error for Bethel the entire set. The entire set? Third and 41 points. Okay. Explains 333, right? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> Another tough serve and better dig. North Green. Van Notes, block is there. They're, I think, well, if you look, they're all going to release. They're all going to release to Van Note. Just hit the uh, the right side, her left hand, and just push it back. The two points away from the opening set. Paige Hickey to serve. Tough floater. It's an ace. And make it five set points for the Pilots. See the frustration from Van Note. She's like, that she was there and all of a sudden it just rose up on her. Should they change the air conditioning a little bit differently this time? Maybe the heat system works differently. The tape, again fell, straight great effort. Van Note did what she could with it. Block is there, Fernandez, tremendous hustle. Diving effort, couldn't get there. Bethel found all the nooks and crannies in set number one after trailing 16-10. They win 15 of the next 18 points, and they take set number one, 25-19. They have taken four of five sets this year against Marion. Set number two comes your way next here on Dig Pink Night. Pilots after one on ISC and Comcast 81. Does your school offer high quality education? Does it offer virtual or hybrid options? Marion University Preparatory School educates students in a safe, faith-based environment focused on college and career exploration. Here at Marion University Preparatory School, we empower parents and help students to master what they love and learn as they live. We are now enrolling students in grades six through nine this fall. Full financial aid packages are still available. Act now to make MU Prep your school for 2022. Is your building haunted or infested with icky snakes? Then tear it down. The Raised Trash Demolition Squad can flatten buildings up to three stories tall. Whether it's a commercial or residential structure, the Raised Trash Demo Experts will make it go boom. And with their roll-off containers, they'll haul away the mess quicker than you can say, hey, there used to be a building there. Bring your old fire trap to its knees with Raised Trash. RaisedTrash.com. Raised Trash. 
Meet Kate. She has a lot to juggle. Family, work, it can lead to trying days and tired nights. But we know Kate, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know at some point her space at a premium life may change. IMCU is here to help Kate and you find your space. Now, add on a remodel with an introductory rate of 1.9% APR on a home equity line of credit. Today, it's all about Kate. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. Does your school offer high-quality education? Does it offer virtual or hybrid options? Marion University Preparatory School educates students in a safe, faith-based environment focused on college and career exploration. Here at Marion University Preparatory School, we empower parents and help students to master what they love and learn as they live. We are now enrolling students in grades six through nine this fall. Full financial aid packages are still available. Act now to make MU Prep your school for 2022. Back inside the PE Center. Oh, help me. <laughs> See, sometimes in television, Gene, you can just lay out and let the picture tell the story. It's it, exactly what we're doing. I put a dick pink. <laughs> per perhaps that yeah. is the rallying cry for Marion after falling in set number one. Again, they led 16-10, 15-9. Bethel then rattled off eight consecutive points and then left Marion again in the dust. 25-19, and again, this Bethel team continues to be Marion's seemingly biggest hiccup in Crossroads League play. Hiccup. I'm going to say pain in the side right there. Um, you know, if you run off eight points in a row, that rotation matchup, as a coach, you might want to spin the dial a little bit. Yep. Because it's just in that one matchup, front row or back row, that, you know, Marion's not winning at all, not even coming close. Patty Brooks with four kills to lead Marion. Patty Payne and North Green for Bethel with four kills apiece. Bethel is, ends up hitting 300 for the set. Marion just 140. Wow. Shoulderman's to serve. Okay. Marion's got to win the first ball contest, and right now they're not. Hunter, the reception. Hunter looking for the put away, and again, Bethel is getting everything. Seymour off the block. Short ball for Landman. Hickey had it covered. And no defense for that. Nope. Point pilots. They're passing the ball. Bethel's passing the ball well so they can run a quicker offense. And Marion's blocking and defense is not getting around actually around the block and in line with the ball. And that one sails long. The only thing Bethel has not done well necessarily is serve. They have three errors, two aces. How many how many hitting errors do they have? Three. That, many, that'd be okay. Yeah, you can live with that trade, yeah, right? Yeah, you can live with that. And so. they're deep, so they're not net tapes, or ones that don't even get to the net. So that's a positive of a negative. Neighbors to serve. Find Seymour, 50-50 ball that Marion takes advantage of it as Hunter and Landman combine. Okay, two points in a row. If you win three, four times, you're like, what, 60% chance of winning the set. So just earn three, earn three. Tough lefty Whoa. serve that falls off the table. Neighbors with the ace. ace. Lefties I, always have that quirkiness do. and unfair advantage on those the, serves. The heat instead of air conditioning is having an impact on which side is easiest to serve from. That ball just dropped. Neighbors again. Give it to her. Ace. Neighbors tw aces 22 and 23 on the season. She is second, only behind Emma Lyons on this Marion squad. That's an, okay. Momentum change from the service line. From this side. Fifth set, take this side. Oh, they're both going to be on this side. I don't think that's legal. I know. <laughs> and that was a double contact on the set. Okay. So right now it's Bethel making the errors. And they're just like the first or second contact that they're making the errors. And with that, Coach Weiss will ask for a timeout. 
This timeout presented in part by the M Club. Joining the M Club is the absolute best way to support student athletes at Marion University. For more information, visit marion.edu slash mclub. Yeah, this 5-1 lead largely has been gifted to Marion by Bethel, and you got to take advantage of those gifts from time to time. But this, again, the first ball contact, whether you're receiving serve or serving, that if you can control that or get them out of system, then you're going to have a better chance of blocking them or, or picking up what hits they get. They do get over the net. Quick check of the, we'll show you the last three points for Marion. Let's run through quickly the standings in the Crossroads League. Taylor 13 and two, they are rated number 12 in the country. Marion 12 and three, they are 15th in the country. Indiana Wesleyan 11 and four, 17th in the nation. And then Bethel receiving votes in the NAI national poll, they are 10 and five. So again, that's one through four. You go one more game at Mount Vernon Nazarene nine and six. So really, spots one through five still up for grabs going into the league tournament a week from Saturday. It says how you know good this league is. So it's very positive. And again, in regular season play, Marion has largely owned it over the last couple, three years. That's not been the case this year. Shouldermans and Payne. Again, she's she's got a, she's good. A, a, a floor that most elevators don't reach. That was good, Greg. But yes, yeah, she was hitting over the, the blocker, the, the, the reach of um, Marion's block. So Vendel will serve. To Van Note. Norwood. And Bethel thought that was on the outside of the pin. We play on. Fell the dig. Short ball for Landman. And again, double contact. Kind of reaching back a little bit, trying to push it forward. That doesn't work. And then they're like, was that out of bounds? And of course, she, uh, the coach Wise is asking the down official. And the, neither uh, lines person called that. So a little question on that one. Frank, that's again, if, if that was outside of the pin, You'd see the flag go up. Absolutely, just to be flagging, or just to be moving it like the start of the 500. That was off the floor. Couldn't pick it cleanly. It was close. Yep. She got up, she could have probably sold it. Effort by Lions, but Lions made no complaint, so she agreed with the call. <laughs> we'll see. The ball never lies. We'll see who wins this point. Man, note. Great effort by Vendel. This one. Close. Felled again. Trying to get over there, just couldn't get there in time. Good neighbors. That was good hustle by, the, by neighbors, but it just get. I thought maybe Van Note could have taken the second ball or just hit the second ball, which could be an option. Great eye by Feld. You would probably say that Feld you could be in consideration for the player of the match so far for Mary. She's been tremendous. Absolutely. And that does, that has happened at some of the, uh, you know, I know internationally that does happen quite often. And then um, you got to have someone that keeps the ball alive. Tough serve, Weiss, Norwood, and North Green try to do a little too much with that. Absolutely, but Bethel's defense is perfectly in line behind the block, so that's why it's kind of hard to put the ball down from Aaron. They're going to put a little bit more speed or maybe change the, the speed and maybe do some off-speed stuff now. Block there waiting. And Van Notes with the takeaway. She just saw the blocker's hands. If you watch right here, Kate's still in play. And just like, okay. 
I mean, how can she see? Well, it's fan note. Like, how can she see that? Five point lead for the Knights. Again, Feld is there. Set across for Van Note. Big swing, block waiting. Summers got all of that one. Oh, that was great. Let me just penetrate it. Here we go, right here. Watch, look at the hands, penetrate, push back to six. And look at the excitement. That's what a block can do. It can be excitement from to your side of the court, which is important in volleyball. And Bethel's already used one timeout this set. Off the slide, North Green. Okay. She'll pick up her fifth kill of the match. Just tool it off the hands a little bit deep. Madison Beaver will drop back to serve. It's still a five point lead, but you can't, you can't give him more than two points here. Norwood. Weiss, big swing. There's Feld again. Van Notes again. You've heard me use this quote before, and one of my favorite local quotes in sports is Rick Carlisle saying, a yes. player knows the geometry of the game. That's right. Van Note had all the angles on that. I wonder if she's a math major. Here's hard agree to serve. Out. Just the second service error. And first of this set committed by Marion. Okay. Setters sometimes do this a little bit more than other positions. Uh, what I've noticed through 40 years of coaching class is because um, they're, they're so worried about running into the court, getting yep. the position, getting everyone ready. Just take your time and serve. Kiki on the serve. Van Note. Short ball for Summers. Seymour. Good. Brooks. Hickey had it covered. Net contact. Again, another kind of gifted point from Bethel. That was a nice rally by both sides. I mean, they're kind of like, you do this, we'll do that. But uh, sure. Bethel is covering that right back corner really well. So maybe go middle back a little bit. They're leaving a little gap. And notes. Now Hunter, off the block and down. That was a very smart play, very smart. You know, the block was there, everything's there, so let's just go off speed a little bit. Use their hands. So the seven point lead, now the largest for Marriott. Big swing and again, there, there's a couple of players, if the ball gets them in that spot, this is rare to say this for Marion. I'm not sure what they can do about it. Exactly. I mean, they're that good, but you got to put more pressure on your serve. You have to keep them out of system, especially the serve, because that's, you know, that kind of can control some of the emotion. Fernandez. Big swing, and Brooks earns the point for the Knights. The last two points that, that Marion's earned, they've used the block. So it could be the person covering for us, the person covering would call, you know, tool or angle or, you know, tip. They would call that. So I'm not sure if Marin uses it, but all good. Schaefer. And again, Payne just able to kind of steer that ball in a different direction. Got to keep it away from the middle somehow. Yep. So. Children in the surf. Off the tape and Landman was ready. And Beaver, back to back points for the pilots. And ben Note was there, but her platform went sideways as opposed to bringing it back into the court. She was a little frustrated with herself. I mean, she's back into this serve receive and everything where she normally is. The team needs her right now.
Short ball for Landman, and again, Landman missed it. Asked for a touch, wasn't there. It was open, but just missed it slightly. With the way Landman swings, she could play volleyball in a basement. Keeps that, keeps that arm low and kind of gets to its highest point at contact. That's probably true. Again, the platform problems. Hunter, good swing for Grace Hunter. Okay. And that was much needed. Grace, the junior from Hamilton Southeastern High School. I remember watching her play. She's very good. Very good high school player. And her high school is very good this year. You think? This Hamilton Southeastern. They're very good. Jason Young's doing a great job with them. Hey, and McCutcheon had a great battle in the regional round of the tournament on Saturday night. Two teams ranked in the top 10 in the country. Again, fell to great effort. Norwood into the first row. Couldn't do anything with it. I kind of thought that she would go get it, you know, being that the track athlete. National champion, triple jump. I mean, look where she is. That's a long haul. Of course, she was playing right side, but still. Here's Bendel. And for as good as Feld has been at keeping things off the floor for Marion, Bendel has been equally as good for Bethel. Norwood. That one will hit the rafters, which takes a lot to do here. Norwood. What I said about North Green or Payne for, yes. for Bethel applies to Norwood for Marion as well. But if you notice, that pass was perfect. And you can run a one tempo that way. If not, they're, they're, they're bigger. The front line for Bethel's huge. They can go over and just, you know, put up a nice size block. First time we've seen Norwood really kind of unleash in tonight's match. Again, run into position, just stay, serve, and then go from there. The give back that time by Lions. Norwood. Payne, the dig, and this one's coming our way. Point Pilots. Okay, their middles are good. And Bethel kind of slowly creeping back in this. No, no, no. Well, they are, but let's see with the rotation. We still have Norwood in the front. It was 16 10 last time when that missed when Bethel tried to turn it around, and here we are, 16 14. Thought they had a touch on it. Everyone's kind of like, oh my gosh, but you know, when it gets to this point, you just. Don't go for the easy tool. Get the, you know, go for the, uh, hit the court. Bounce balls. For what it's worth, we're sitting at the at the net bay. I didn't see a touch there either. I didn't either. Norwood. Weiss. There's Feld again. Great up. Man notes. Landman. Just didn't get her steps right. And it's back to a one-point lead. Interesting. I thought Van Note wanted to hit middle, which would have been open because they were going to release. We'll see where she hits this time. There you go. Block is there, but wide. Point to Marion. I think she told the setter, set me middle. Fifth year senior. All right, two point lead. Here's Feld. 50 50 ball, Summers. Didn't put it the way she wanted to. So Van Note <laughs> does. Okay, that's a Van Note I've seen in other games. Like, I'm on, let's go, give me the ball. Give me the dang ball. Van Note now tied for the team high and kills with six. Feld. Beaver and nothing there. And Van Note 
I think stumbled as she was sliding over to get in position for a block, and that left a a pretty wide window for yeah, Beaver. Yeah, a little that skid time. mark right there here. But check and see if she's all right. And sometimes, with the, especially with the swing blocking, that does happen. Off the hands and down. Let's talk a little, a little shop here. Clearly, Bethel is, is serving Van Note intentionally. Yes. Walk me through the strategy behind that. Make her tired. Yeah. And serve her deep so she has to take a bigger approach. So when that fourth and fifth set comes, if it does, she's not going to jump as high. She's not going to hit over the block. Hard to agree. Great job. Just keep that in play. Hard agree. Short ball, Summers. North Green got a piece. Van Notes. Van Notes show right now. But her teammates are, are allowing that to happen by passing the ball and setting the ball well. I think, I think teammates for four years have figured that out. When yes. in doubt, get seven the ball for Marion. So Bethel has called their second and final timeout of set number two with Marion five points away from leveling this match at a set apiece. Tonight's match presented in part by IMCU. Proud to support Marion University now offers a free Marion Knights debit card with a free checking account. Get your Knights debit card today and show your support. Visit any IMCU branch or sign up online now at imcu.com. Membership savings required and federally insured by the NCUA. Coach Anderson was a little eye contact. You know, it was kind of like we the eyes were like being, okay, we're going to get this done. You understand what I'm saying right now? Yes, Coach. Her second stint as the interim head coach of the Marion program. The last one involved the national championship season when now former head coach Ashley Pritchard, who is the head coach of Indiana State these days, Took a break during the season. What kind to, of break was it? Well, to, you know, to, to give birth. Oh, okay, that happens. <laughs> <laughs> to give birth. Oh, she'll be out a day. <laughs> I think that I think that counts as she used absence. Okay. <laughs> and Marion went 16 and 0 in Ashley's absence, by the way. That's pretty good. Not bad. Whoa. Marion missed an opportunity to kind of have a go at that. Beaver. Weiss, great diving effort, balls in play. Weiss again and. Wow. You know, it's not the best technique, but kids are playing, they're competing to keep the ball alive. Bethel Those one and four when these two got together back on September 21st. Short ball and again. Great effort, never hit the floor, but took four to get it over. But still, they're going to have to somehow, I wonder if they can release three blockers on the middle. Some, big, some schools have done that. So Hickey to serve. Summers. North Green missed no touch. But staying aggressive, it's going to hit on two. I mean, the block wasn't going to be there. Have an open net. Let's take a swing just out. And Van Notes. And Fernandez probably makes that proper contact 99 times out of 100. Yep. That one time gives Marion more of a cushion. Here in set two. It would be interesting, the stat, which side of the court has the most number of aces and serve, I mean, where they got service. So the serving from, the, I think, on our, take that back. Balanced it out with the yeah. service error. Both teams have. Four of those. We had a rule in our program. You get the, t it scores 20, 20, 22s. You get the 22s, you do not miss your serve. Front line finishes the game. But this level is a little bit different. 
off the block. And a handful of set points for the Knights. As Landman and Schaefer will rotate back through. That was just a smart hit. All of Schaefer's serves have been short and what would be the near side as you are looking from our angle. Puts it there again. Free ball here. And Payne missed it. Well, I kind of summarized the set. Just enough Bethel errors to right. give Marion the cushion. And we are level at a set apiece with at least two more to play, if not three. Knights are back on level ground again. a crucial match for seeding in the upcoming Crossroads League Tournament. Back with more in a moment as you're watching Marion Volleyball on ISC and Comcast 81. What's better than 100 pieces of pepperoni? How about 150 pieces of Donato's Crispy Pepperoni? Yep, the Pep 150 is back with more of what you love. Piled edge to edge on that golden thin crust. It's pepperoni topped with pepperoni and more bang for your pepperoni buck. Now get a large Pep 150 for just a dollar more than a large pepperoni pizza. Donato's, every piece is important. Own a home? Here's a tip. Don't dump your garbage in the street. Neighbors get fussy about that sort of thing. Instead, count on Ray's Trash to haul it away. Ray's can supply 96-gallon waste and recycling bins that'll make you the envy of the cul-de-sac. And when you need a roll-off container for that big job, guess who's going to be there for you? That's right, Ray's. Your filth needs a place of its own. Ray's Trash will move it there. You know where to go. Raisetrash.com. Raise Trash. This is the Pepsi for America's best barbecue. Worthy of 100 mile detours and 1,000 likes. Looks good. This is the Pepsi for mopping, dipping, and dousing. Whatever you're craving, this is the Pepsi for you. This is the Pepsi for serious fans and serious eats. This is the Pepsi for Sundays at the ballpark and days off at your favorite pizza joint. Right, Aaron? Best slice in New York. Whatever you're craving, this is the Pepsi for you. Marion University is like a home to me. Campus is where I made friends that I know will last a lifetime. Academics, sports, or arts, Marion's got something for you. Plus, downtown Indy is just 10 minutes away from campus. I'm a huge sports fan. Living in Indy, I've got the Knights, the Colts, and the Pacers. Applying was so fast and easy. I went to Marion for the education, but what I took away was the experience. Marion University offers an exceptional education and an unforgettable experience. Apply today for full scholarship consideration at marion.edu. Again, a gorgeous look at the campus outside. That's courtesy of the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be, Alec Word DeFord. <laughs> Many thanks to Derek Schultz, Vince Morales, Rob Lynch, Jordan Shu and Alan Hughes, our crew for tonight's match. And again, we'll be right back here tomorrow night, but for a completely different sport, but one where Marion has been just as successful, that being in men's basketball. Both the Knights men and women's basketball teams in the top 20 preseason in the NAIA. And then we'll open up their season against St. Xavier of Chicago. Join Bill Fenlon and myself on the call right here on ISC and Comcast 81 as well, with coverage beginning at 7 o'clock. All right, so you've seen both teams, you know, ha have a peak and a valley, if you will, in sets yes. one and two. What's the difference now in set number three? Set number three, I think that uh, they need to, that Mary needs to maintain their their tough serve or focused serve. Uh, they also stayed in rallies longer than they did in the uh, the previous set, set one. Uh, Bethel made a lot of mistakes. They need to make sure that they go to their offensive weapons at the present time they have an advantage uh, in the middle. I mean, they, they're just taller and a little bit stronger, I think, at, at this time. Overall hitting numbers for the match, Bethel hitting 268, Marion hitting 198. Whoa. Kills are equal at 26. Marion has 10 more attempts. The service errors equal with four, one more ace for Marion with three. Frankly, the points are separated by all of them. One so far in this match, Seriously. those numbers would back it up. This game's crazy, isn't it? It's so fun. Whitaker, North Green, Beaver, Weiss, Vendel, and Fernandez, the six on the floor for Bethel. Van Note, Hardigree, Feld, Hunter, Brooks, and Landman, the six on the floor for the Knights. 
and Feld will serve. And Feld with a team high 10 digs for Marriott. Madison Beaver has that number for Bethel. Both pros are playing very, very well. Almost impossible, even with that lefty swing for Whitaker to find the right angle that time. Point goes to Marion because the pass sent her almost to the scorer's table. Yes, that's kind of tough to hit between the antennas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has to cleanly hit between, excuse me, over the net and between the, the pens. Block was there waiting, and Bethel had worked it everybody to the team side of the benches. Two zip nights. Again, first ball contact hasn't been very good. Okay, so they're changing. Okay, a little communi more communication with the Bethel team on who's got one. The bro's gonna take a little bit more of the action, I think. Feld serve. North Green block there. Going over on two, hadn't seen much of that on either side. Fernandez had it covered. Down the line, got it. Whitaker the kill, her third of the match. Both pros are just cleaning the court. You know, it's, they're, they're just keeping the ball alive. So they're the ones, in my opinion, right now are the MVPs. If you can keep your team one more point, one more uh, chance to score. Fernandez with nine at digs. Hunter, block there waiting. It's North Green. Okay. Probably need to keep it away from the tall middle. But again, the seam was open a little bit and she just a little bit leaves a little bit quicker arm. Brooks did what she could with that ball. Seymour. Van notes. Yeah, passes a little bit off that time. Right. Almost looked like she had side spin on the ball. Yeah. By the way, I do like the end of the court cameras. This is how coaches watch, is how they do the video. So it's more game-like. Short set, there's Landon, and Hickey got a touch. Couldn't get the arm back in time. That ball was probably going long, but Landon will take full credit, three apiece. Absolutely. Again, first ball contact was good. So if you're a youngster at home, work on your first ball contact, you'll find the court. Neighbors to serve. Plain uniform, find the court. And that lefty swing dig is there, but a free ball, North Green. A second one. Cross to Seymour, and Van Note keeps it alive. Hunter. Landman, yes. what an angle. I think she's a math major. <laughs> to find the court, how high, how fast do I need to hit so it goes back. We call that clipboard. They have a clipboard in the corners. It's going to hit the clipboard. It's a 4 3. And that and finds the line. Yep. Point Bethel. On that one, the, the blocker should have known because, the, in my opinion, the, the setter was was telegraphing where she's going to go, had the arch, the back arch and the hands behind her head a little bit too soon. So I think that the blockers for Mary need to be aware of that. Floater. It almost sent the and did to the center of the net. I think neighbors thought she had avoided net contact, but. Down officials responsible for the bottom yep. of the net up, so. Three point for Bethel. Hunter. Block was there waiting and the response by Bethel steers it wide. So 
Avery just, I mean, she's watching the ball, watching the ball, and then she's going to just press her hands over. She sees where it is, not having to replay, and then she just does a little with the hands go down. It's like her eyes are totally focused on the ball, which this is a great block. Here's Emma Lyons, freshman from Bishop Dwinger High School. Big swing and felled. Kept it alive. I'm not sure with shoulder side of her face, whatever the, it was, but. You need to rotate her shoulder a little bit more to get a little bit more vertical as opposed to that angle on it. Bethel will win the point. Shoulderman's will serve. Whitaker rotates out for the pilots. Norwood. Seymour. Man notes. Missed it. It's the rare time that she kind of kind of let it rip and missed it wide. That's right. It was open. And now they have to, you know, plan their defense around it. Go, she can hit lines. You know, she's gonna hit it in sometime. We just gotta make sure we play defense there. Ball misses. Calvin Van Note had it sized up properly. <laughs> so no real momentum yet in this set. It's pretty much no. back and forth. And a lot more errors than there were. I mean, both sides are making some errors. Like a chess game. What are we going to do next? There's that inside out serve from Schaefer. Payne did what she could with that one. Van Notes, again, <laughs> dialed it back. <laughs> Found the right angle, point Marion. I think she wants to be a middle hitter near the end of her fifth season. Look, set me middle. I think of it, it through the Indy 11 games and one of their players played at Butler, so I got to talk to his head coach and Paul Snape and he goes, you put him in any 11 positions on the, on the, on the field, he's fine. Same with Skyler. Really? Whatever six <laughs> positions you want, you, you play that. You'll be fine. Ace for the Knights. They get three points in a row, and they're in front. They're eight, seven, and set number three. Maybe they turn the air conditioner on instead of the heat. Because the ball, look. Just oh, a bit whoa. long. Didn't miss it by much. That was Sh close. Schaefer's only rotation is, is the service spot. Serving specialists, they can change the game. I mean, we're watching this right now. Eight points in a row for Bethel. Here's Rachel Vendel. And then serving Van Note. Whoa. Summers. Block is there waiting. That was, I mean, Summers was right there. Here we go. Watch. Watch the hands. Press. Her right hand just pressed back to the middle of the court. And look at her teammates. Like, yes, I think it's a pink hair. Four blocks for Summers tonight. It's pink hair. Maybe told to keep that the rest of the year. Oh Free Lord. ball here. <laughs> Brookson. Hit it properly just to get it to tool off the block. I like that. Hit it properly, found the, found the hole. Really, that's the only thing that she could really do. So that's a, just a smart shot. Hard agree to serve. And that's going to be a, another back row attack. Yes. Second time that's happened for Bethel tonight. Ball penetrated part of the net. And... Try to save it, and nope, can't do that. Weiss, they're spelled yet again. Good looking ball that time, off the block and down. That was smart. I'm noticing that the Marion bench is into it, so their energy, one thing that we're struggling with our, with our play is the, we come, the energy comes from the bench. And if I'm noticing, there's a lot more energy from on, on the court for Marion. Seven of the last eight points belong to Marion. Trying to go over on two, Marion had it covered. Brooks again, got it. Again, reverse the action. 
I mean, Brooks is hot right now. Give her the ball. Point. Timeout called by Bethel. We'll keep it right here. Let's thank our friends at Ray's Trash, proud partner of Marion University. 317-539-2024 or online at racetrash.com. We talked about in this set there have been a few more errors. The hitting numbers for both sides lesser than what they have been during the course of the match. In fact, Bethel's in negative numbers for the set. Okay, in negative 053. Yes. Marion kind of equal what they have done over the course of the first two sets. Not spectacular. 176. There's been a few more errors from exactly. Bethel that has led to this five-point married advantage. You know, the third set, everyone's trying to figure out what do we need to do? Um, do we need to make adjustments? Do we hit here? So the chess game continues set three and then set four. Typically, teams will do, this is what Scott is here. We're just going to continue with it, if that makes sense. By the way, in case you're wondering, the feed you're watching at home, folks, is also on the video board here. So the student athletes that are here know when they are on camera. Or no, they don't want to be on camera, perhaps? Uh, yes, that's it. But some of those football players that had pink on, is like, oh, I don't know if I can get that on my head tonight and trying to sleep. It's like, oh, help me. But, it, you know, it is Halloween, so Halloween season. May leave that for five days. Oh, no. <laughs> Big swing and needed that one, Payne. Payne now with a team high nine kills for Bethel. Yes. So imagine that. Let's go to our, you know, number one, number one in blocks, a three-time All-American. Let's just set her the ball wherever she wants to hit. Pain to serve. Hard agree. Off the slide, Summers. And that'll be point to Bethel. And I don't think there was ever actually a touch there. I think that I don't was think so either. It would have been net. four. The down officials signaling that it would have been four. Yep. This has been kind of the ebb and flow of the match. Marion has built a lead. Bethel has reeled them back in. Van Notes. Bendel. Brooks. Block is there, and Harder got just enough of a touch to draw for teammate. Absolutely. But there are two people there, you know, just communicate. Okay, just get up there and set the ball. Our defense is going to take that. But at least there are two people going for it. The first set, I don't know if I saw that a lot. So three successive points for the Pilots. Wicked serve. Free ball. Again, Summers probably wants to hit a little bit harder, but hit to the right spot. I mean, you can see her, she came down, she was moving her hands, it's like, oh my gosh, that was a weenie, weenie, sorry, volleyball term, right over the, the middle. And, but it scored a point. That's a volleyball turn. You know, point, it is a volleyball <laughs> turn. A point's a point. 14 to 11. And again, Van Note gives one away. I'm not sure if that's her short serve. I mean, one of the best hitters in the NAI yeah. served aggressively. I, I think it's safe to say, and it's not hyperbole, the best player in this program, sister. Hyperbole. I love the, the vocab I'm learning. Hunter, good looking wow. swing. Very good swing. How much Fernandez could do with that? Again, serving Van Note. Actually, she missed a serve. She might be thinking about that. Let's go after the kid that made the last error. Well, of note, we had talked about, you know, that Van Note has now not been playing every rotation. That changed after yes. the first set. Yeah. She has not come off the court since. Um, yes. Fell the ace. Okay, poor communication. And you communicate and serve receive two ways, verbally and with your with your body language. So one of them should have been open, the other one should have been going. You go to the ball or you open your hips and you call it. So there's two parts to serve receive. North Green and that was good self-defense by Hard Agree, about the best she could yes. do. But that's just one point. So if they set their middles at like every third or fourth ball, because this, the pass is not there, that's just one hard hit out of the middle. Does that make sense? So don't let the middles get set. 
or Bethel could just move their hitters, hitters excuse me, the middles anywhere along the net. Brooks, good looking swing. Brooks is on fire. Brooks, the sophomore from Northrop High School. Northrop. As in Fort Wayne? Yes. They beat Cathedral in 1996 and went on and played in this state championship at Marcus Square Arena. Brooks, 127 kills coming in. North Green. Norwood. Oh. A little help from the home tape. She Point knows, to the Knights. She knows how to use the tape, but actually I don't think her elbow, her watch here, I don't think her elbow was very high, it's kind of still low. And it might be a little bit of the shoulder pain, but you know, if you're national champion, you find a, you know, in track, you find a way to win. The members bounce at time for the Knights. Seymour, oh my what goodness. an angle. <laughs> what a play by Hunter. That was not rewarded, but that took two fantastic shots yes. to win that point for the visitors. Uh, and that's true. And actually that was, I think, one of the best rally offensively they've had for quite some time. Is that correct? So Fernandez to serve. Goes with the floater. Short ball for Landman. Wow. Great diving effort. Ball's going to go over here, and I think he got to it in time. Landman again and missed it. Asked for a touch, but R1 and R2 say no. And again, I, I tend to regret it. I don't think I saw one I there either. It. Take a look. No, I think that just missed it. No, it was out. Block is there waiting on Norwood. And then Whitaker a little too aggressive. And it was open too. Looks like they just closed the gate at that one time. So here's Lions. Lions and Schaefer really have been one rotation players tonight. Serve and then exit. Norwood. She can do more off of one foot than most. Point yes. Marion. And I wonder why she can. Isn't she a triple hop national champion? Correct. So she's pretty good off one leg. And a timeout being taken here by the pilots as Marion enjoys a five point lead. Tonight's timeout presented by our friends from the Shalis Corporation. From ground up building projects to round the clock emergency security services, no one answers your phones or your prayers quicker than Michelis. Call 844-FIX-INDY. And the Marion football team has this weekend off. They have two more games left to play this season. They will be here to take on Spring Arbor next Saturday. Rob Brown and Zach Graves will have the call of that one for you on ISC and Comcast 81. And the Knights football team will finish their regular season going to Detroit to take on Lawrence Tech. Scott McCauley and Zach Graves will have the radio call of that game on 93.5 and 107.5 of the fan. And of course, any home postseason games we'll have for you here on both ISC and Comcast 81. So, Greg, earlier you were talking about how Marion's volleyball is rated. You said the football is rated. Correct. And the basketball teams are Men's talking about basketball, that. Men's basketball, women's basketball, women's soccer is number two in the country. Seriously. Yeah. In the spring. In the spring, you, I'm, I'm not sure they do official track and field ratings, right. but Good. so many top athletes talk about in the fall yes. are track and field athletes Good. as right. well. Softball team has been outstanding over heard, the yeah. years. So it's a pretty good program. Good to see Steve Brooks in the building tonight. Women's basketball coach will see his team make their season debut here against Concordia next Wednesday. Hickey could not control that one. Ace for the Knights. The Mary Knights are alive. Bethel has taken both of their third set timeouts. This will be amongst the players to 
Trying to figure this one out. Gift given by Marion. Again, as a coach, I'm just like, sir, take a breath, serve, and don't even, I mean, you're, you're doing a kind of a jump float, but serve and don't worry about going to your position. Tough serve. And Note had it. Norwood blocked there waiting. Now back to Van Note. Again, the block was waiting. And again, it's Payne. Again, kind of a predictable offense right now. That's what I'm thinking. And again, I think the hitters need to transition off the net a little bit so they can hit different shots. Okay, this is a, a tipping point of the game right here. They get to 19. Van Note. Whoa. Asking double contact, didn't get it. Man, nope. Takes care of it anyway. Point to Mary. It could be that that was the first ball contact over the net, which, you know, you get a little bit a more little leeway. A little grace, yeah. A little grace, yes. That rule's been loosened over the years on the yes. first touch. Yes. Not two or three. Here's Schaefer. Short ball and Payne to put away. That's kill number 10 for the former Northwood High School product. Ainsley was right there, but she pulled her platform. She held her platform. It, it would have been up. I'm not sure on our side, on our side, Marion's side of the net or not, but just pull the shoulders away. Stay, keep your, sho your shoulders stable. Vendel to serve. Vendel, a senior from Valparaiso. Norwood, again, when she gets that swing at that height, you can simply watch it go by. So she did take a healthy approach that time and a hard swing. You know, that, I'm not sure if her shoulder's back or not, but she hasn't been swinging as hard. I think she might be saving it for the postseason here. Hard agree. The back line. Free ball. Put away. Van Notes. But the dunk gives six set points to the Knights. This is the same spot they were in a set ago. Harvard are looking to make it two sets to one for the home side. Good looking swing that time. Very nice. That's Hannah Weiss. Just inside the left armpit of the middle blocker. And the sophomore from Mishawaka, daughter of head coach Katie Weiss. I remember Katie Weiss when she played in high school. <laughs> in set points, a plenty for the Knights. Brooks missed it, just long. Just by that touch there. There was a touch there. Point goes to Marion. 25-19, two sets to one for Marion. And on to set number four we go. We'll take this quick timeout. Knights looking for their 13th league win in 16 matches this fall. Back after this on ISC and Comcast 81. Who's got time for hot dogs and disco music? Your mind's cluttered with thoughts of commercial waste removal. So thank the good Lord above for Ray's Trash. Ray's will collect the intolerable rubbish at all your company's locations up to six times a week. That's 42 times in dog weeks. They shred documents and recycle too. And Ray's has roll-off containers for big loads, like construction waste or when your giant dies. Got a business? Get yourself to raisetrash.com. RaiseTrash.com. Raise Trash. I've always liked Indianapolis. Um, I've been interested in the bigger city life. The community and everything fell into place. With my degree, I plan on becoming a pediatric nurse. Indianapolis has several hospitals and different options to choose from as to where I should go. I chose Indianapolis because I love the Pacers, I love the Colts, and this is a basketball city. Just wants to stay in the city, play in front of my friends and family, and Try to give Marion my best. Meet Zach. Day and night, rain or shine, even just out for a spin, Zach gets around. But we know Zach, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he's been saving up to trade up. IMCU is here to help Zach and you drive your dream. Now get financing as low as 2.99% APR on a new or used vehicle. Today, it's all about Zach. 
Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. Still waiting? You could have been seen by an orthopedic specialist at Ortho Indy Urgent Care. Avoid the wait, cost, and drama of the ER. Ortho Indy Urgent Care. Orthopedic care without the drama. Find a location near you. Still waiting? You could have been seen by an orthopedic specialist at Ortho Indy Urgent Care. Avoid the wait, cost, and drama of the ER. Ortho Indy Urgent Care. Orthopedic care without the drama. Find a location near you. Another wonderful look at the Marion University campus. That's the PE Center. You see the car kind of driving by, obviously. St. Vincent Field illuminated. 30th Street to the south of that serves as the southern edge of this campus on the near northwest side of Indianapolis. Alongside Gene Kesterson, my name is Greg Regstraw. Thank you so much for joining us for Crossroads League Volleyball here on ISC and Comcast 81. If Marion wins tonight, they wrap up at least a home berth in the opening round of the Crossroads League tourney. We would have that match for you on ISC. That would be a week from Saturday on November the 5th. MUKnights.com will have coverage of the next two big matchups that Marion has on Friday and Saturday. Friday night at 7, Saturday afternoon at 3, Indiana Wesleyan, and it could easily come down to a battle for first place in the league, Taylor and Marion on Saturday afternoon. That's gonna be great volleyball, exciting volleyball. Silverman's to serve. Van Note hustles around the linesman to keep the ball in play. But Payne is there for the put away. Points to the Pilots. Again, keep the ball out of the system because they're, they're, they are setting from the middle position. So it's not like they're pulled and have to do a three zone or pull between the, the middle and the, the left side attackers. So the, they're passing well, but the first ball contact could be better. Brooks, high off the block. Short set, big swing, Payne again. That's 12 kills for Payne. I think their call is, we're gonna go middle until they stop us. And so far the two, you know, the ball contact, first ball contact for Bethel is allowing them to do that. And the setter's doing a great job with location. Set across for Hunter, and Hunter never can get the steps right, pass a little off that time. And Bethel jumps out to a quick 3-0 lead. She saw the good block and was just trying to do probably an off-speed something. The stay aggressive, hit high hands. Of course, it's easy from up here. You of know, course. just hit high hands. You know, you got six-foot something blockers. So. Landman swings around it and gets it to go swung around their middle blocker. And sometimes the way to stop a, a middle blocker from attacking well is to get in her head defensively. Like you can't block me. And it, they, all she's doing is thinking about the block. Actually, that was a game plan from one of our, against one of our opponents. And it worked. Neighbors to serve. And I think this falls off the table as it got to Paige Hickey. Neighbors, multiple aces tonight. Keep it rolling. And if you get one or two, the confidence grows. Your teammates depend on you. And the other team's like, oh, no, she's back serving. And finds Paige Chicky. Big swing, but missed it. That was Seymour that pulled it wide. And Marion has pulled all three points back from Bethel. In some errors right here. And a great serve. You get the serve. Again, I keep saying first ball. But if you can control this, the service line, it's going to be hard for your opponents to beat you. Set across, and again, oh, it's good. Good top on that one. Yes. Until it got about, about a foot, I thought it was going to go long. It just tumbled down, Point Bethel. Again, I keep looking at all these math majors that play volleyball. <laughs> but that was just a nice, I mean, smart play. Here's Vendel. Felt, and not much you can do with that. Right. One of the rare mistakes from Feld tonight. 
Okay, that's the first jump huddle, like a men's game, jump huddle that I've seen from Bethel. Neighbors hustling. They get Norwood. Able to keep it alive. Block is there, but it's wide. Points coming in bunches of threes. Yeah, three in a row, what is it, four times, 60%? I think it might be 50% chance of winning the set. So Vendel to serve. Short ball for Landman. Again, free ball and put that away. I just love the energy that she brings to the court. And we just get so excited. Landman, the junior from Pendleton Heights High School. Here's Lyons. Weiss off the block and down. Okay. And you see them go like this, the ball hit off the, the blocker's head. I see that a lot in men's volleyball, boys volleyball. It's like, and I've seen it more with the women and the girls. I saw some D1 teams do that. And went, okay. And a little miscommunication. One of the rare passing errors we've seen from Marion tonight. The lead grows to four now for Bethel. Lions. Van Note. Player. Okay. A little much on that. Marion's got that set cushion. Not going to burn a timeout just yet. Okay. Van Note, when in doubt, get the ball Van to Skyler Van Note. A little bit interesting because in volleyball now you can kick it and that the defensive player on the ground was like swinging her foot right. but just, yep. just missed it. A little kickball game broke out, breaks out of the Marion volleyball game. We have had a volleyball highlight involving a kick make sports center from the ISC Sports oh Network in the past. Dendel on the reception, Weiss the swing. Van Notes timed it and off the pin. It's like, what did I just do? I mean, she's frustrated. So if I'm her setter, I'm going to give her the next ball. Take her frustration out on the ball. And Van Note gets the opportunity. Not out of danger just yet. Oh my. But on the scramble, point goes to Bethel. And that was just, you know, it's just sad, you know. You have uh, Ainsley's just trying to make a play and kind of overruns the ball almost. Again, Sir Van Note. Van Notes finds the available real estate in the back of the court. It'd be nice for Marin to have three. Again, get that momentum. Keep up in this Bethel and this rotation right here. To the back row, the floater. Whitaker. Brooks, net contact. All right, there's one. Two more in this rotation. But again, Bethel was not able to run their middle. So um, Isabel, I'm sorry, Izzy is what they call her, <laughs> was not able to uh, attack the ball. So they Keeper ran the set. across. Or three in the slide. Free ball. Two touches. And Beaver will ask for the explanation from our R1. 
I think the R2 is going to go. Um, I think this is what happened. The R2 appeared to be in agreement with the call. I saw her kind of nod immediately. Okay. All right. Otherwise, Play on. no conversation. Both said, yep, both saw it the same way that wasn't just a tip, it was a distinctive hit. Good eyes. So three in a row for the Knights. Block is there. Set across to Weiss, and Weiss finds a soft spot. Pitch. The hole is open right there over the block, over the middle blocker's hands towards the middle of the court. So Madison just needs to, excuse me, um, Katie just needs, Hardigy just needs to play the tip. I don't think they, they pit line that often. Kiki to serve. Van notes. Going over on two. Fernandez was running. Set across for Van Note. Block there waiting. Yep. North Green and Whitaker combine on it. And in fact, uh, Izzy already released to Van Note. I mean, just this is who's going to get the ball. Critical time for Marion right now. Off the slide, Summers. Short ball, good recovery by Feld. Whitaker, big swing, and nothing Feld could do. It seems like they're having a trouble blocking 13. Uh, Whitaker, because left-handed, and the ball's a little bit different. It, it is much different blocking a lefty with a quick arm than a, a righty that you're used to blocking. Man notes, great effort. That was Hickey on the dig. Summers. Here comes the timeout for Marion. Wow. Well, this certainly has the earmarks of going five. Well, you knew it would. <laughs> you have two quality opponents going each other. It, it's going to go. Fans get all the up-to-date information on Marion University Athletics. Log on to MUKnights.com and make sure you follow on Twitter at MUKnights. Again, that's at MUKnights. Well, Marion has played one five-set match all season. We go back to their Labor Day weekend trip out to California when they did that against Vanguard, a three-set to two win. And Bethel has played multiple five-set matches, but like Marion, they have almost all been out of conference play. They played a five-setter over a month ago against Mount Vernon Nazarene. They played three five-setters in a row in the Terbos Invitational event in Wisconsin. They also suffered a five-set loss against Heather Hayes' always solid IU Kokomo mm -hmm. squad on Labor Day weekend. But find the good. The good is Marion is undefeated at home this year. Home court advantage. The loss is at Bethel, at Taylor, and at Huntington. And so also at Bethel, the they had, uh, what was it, Fish go down with the season ending, ending injury. Kiki to serve. And Feld, double contact. The ace for the Pilots. Kiki on your screen, the high school teammate of Raven Coleman at Purdue. Heritage Christian now at Purdue. Yes, she's doing very well. And Raven of the potential U.S. national team, I think, at, yes. at some juncture. She was on the U-20 team that won gold. Set across. Rooks the angle. Fernandez had it covered. Set it across for Seymour. Now back to Brooks. North Green. Van Notes. Whitaker, 50-50 ball that lands on the Marion side, Point Bethel. So last couple points, Marion's played harder. They're just not, not finding success hitting the ball in the court on their opponent's side, so. And notes off the block and down. 
Sometimes you just need to be lucky. And she was talking to the setter. I saw her set me. Middle position. And Van Note now 15 kills, but by her lofty standards, hitting 146. Wow. And to give you an idea, her season average is 317. The short serve, and <laughs> speaking of luck, Van Note will take it. I mean, she's missed more serves tonight than I've seen her miss. Right. So, but that, it's like, okay, tipping point, could be tipping point. Set across, Block was there waiting. Whitaker, what a swing. And that advantage of being left-handed. Yes, because she's been attacking the ball line and scoring, and then she's hitting uh, Marion's right side of the court, so you just switched. Whitaker now second on the team in kills with nine tonight. Short ball and Summers nets it. Marion's got one more timeout if they feel like using it. And they there will it do is. that <laughs> right now. Like I said, this certainly has all the indications of going to a fifth set. This timeout presented by our friends at First On Site, formerly Moore Restoration. They're here to help you power through whatever comes your way. A leading North American property restoration company that specializes in emergency response restoration and reconstruction following disasters of any kind. From fire and flood to catastrophic storms or biohazards, they've got the team, technology, and resources to help you restore, rebuild, and rise. Go Knights. Huddle is a brief one for Marion. Yes. Brief, but I mean, you're undefeated at home. Go through your senior year, be undefeated, or your fifth year, or your freshman, or whatever. And that's something that this group hasn't done the last couple of years because of the team they're playing. Because Bethel has won the last two regular season meetings in this building. Bethel is playing well. Give credit where credit's due. The, the, they're athletic, the middles are athletic. Marines are competing with them. Um, but right now, their sense of urgency is not on Marion's side of the net. Errant pass. Oh. Fourth touch against the Knights. Okay. All right, the ball, again, ball's passed tight. They're going to serve Van Note as deep as they can, make her wear her out in case when it goes to the fifth set. Look, right to her. Hunter blocked there, waiting. It's pain. Okay. They can call net contact. Didn't clear the net. Oh, net contact. I did not see that one. I was looking and going, okay. Must, her hands must hit another follow through. Only, follow only through, thing okay. I can think of. They're both R1 and R2 are in agreement on that. Sounds, sounds good. Fell to serve. Three ball here and Hunter couldn't put it away. Brooks. Whoa. Sometimes you gotta be lucky. Player interfered with the vision of the, the, another player for, for Bethel. If we watch right here, what? Oh, no, you got it. Okay. Get the 15. It's a different ball game. Pay in the swing. No net contact that time. Point Bethel. Again, they need a point. Good pass to set middle. And the middles for Bethel had a good job of hitting left and right. So it's just not all, all one direction. So the block has to make a decision. Sullivan's down the line. Brooks right to the wall. Yep. Yeah. It was, almost, it was almost like a trap set. Not much you could do with it. Into the net. 
Still Bethel three points away from sending this to a fifth and decisive set. 15 by two. Mary just needs to create some, some, you know, some excitement. I hate to say excitement all the time. They need to play better to take that momentum to go into the fifth set. Because in volleyball, this is almost unheard of at this level. That'll float all the way. And those air currents just kind of took off. Air current's not good for Mary in this. I think they need to change it. Where's the, you know, engineer here for the facilities coordinator for Marion. They need to make some changes here. Bethel hitting 385 this set. Marion, zeros. Oh my gosh. Bendel. Norwood. Point to the Knights. It's the beginning. So Lions will come back through. Lions won ace tonight. Again, team leader in service aces. Payne and 10 set points for Bethel. Okay. And Payne, who had the kill, will head back to serve. She's very powerful. What, three-time All-America and leads number one in NAA in, in, in blocks. She's pretty athletic. Balls here to the back row. Vendel couldn't control it. But still a multitude of set points for the pilots. Then again, Mary might have some opportunity to, to you know, create some intensity on the court. Some more focus. I think focus on let's finish these points. Tough serve, ace. Okay, there you go. There you go. Two down, eight to go for Marion. <laughs> and it has happened. Beaver. Nope. Free ball, and that's that. Okay. Izzy North Green with the kill, and we will go five this evening. We'll take this quick timeout. The decisive set number five comes your way next on ISC and Comcast 81. Who's got time for hot dogs and disco music? Your mind's cluttered with thoughts of commercial waste removal. So thank the good Lord above for Ray's Trash. Ray's will collect the intolerable rubbish at all your company's locations up to six times a week. That's 42 times in dog weeks. They shred documents and recycle too. And Ray's has roll-off containers for big loads, like construction waste or when your giant dies. Got a business? Get yourself to Ray'sTrash.com. Ray'sTrash.com. Ray's Trash. Meet Chip. 30 years ago, he started a small business with a big idea. Today, there's a new building, a new fleet of equipment, and a new era of leadership. But we know Chip, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he plans to keep growing, building business with the next generation. IMCU is here to help with secure and simple account management tools and commercial financing to grow business. Today, it's all about Chip. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. Pepsi's always had great taste. Today, try great taste with zero sugar. This is the Pepsi with zero compromises. This is Pepsi Zero Sugar. The minute I stepped foot on campus, I didn't want to leave. Everyone here is about helping you succeed. It's hard work, but it's totally worth it. I have so much support from my advisors. The nursing program is why I chose Marion. I'm studying to be a teacher. I'm a business major. My professors really challenge me, and I know I'll be ready for my career. A great education is the best thing you could ever do for yourself. Marion University, an exceptional education and an unforgettable experience. Apply today for full scholarship consideration at marion.edu. Meet Zach. Day and night, rain or shine, even just out for a spin, Zach gets around. But we know Zach, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he's been saving up to trade up. IMCU is here to help Zach and you drive your dream. 
Now get financing as low as 2.99% APR on a new or used vehicle. Today, it's all about Zach. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. We're going the distance tonight here at Marion. Fifth set about to get underway, and again, a massive match in terms of the seeding in the Crossroads League Tournament. In terms of the potential national ranking for these two teams as well. Marion 15th, Bethel receiving votes. Marion 20 and three overall, 12 and three in league play. Bethel 18 and nine, 10 and five in league play. A win tonight, and Marion would know they are gonna be no worse than the number three seed. A loss tonight. They could see that drop to as low as four, depending on what happens on Friday and Saturday. The Shildermans to serve. First to 15 by two, wins it. Norwood. For Payne, and up and over the block. And I think they talked about that in the timeout because she turned and pointed to one of her teammates or the bench going, it is open. Again, serve Van Note. Fernandez there waiting. Big swing, Feld with the dig. Beaver blocked there waiting on her. Norwood got a hand to it and oh, oh my. Sometimes you just gotta be lucky. Uh -huh. Again, look, watch. You just got, you kind of believe like, see, you believe. The cheer block just right on cue, huh? Another short serve. Neighbors, short ball that Summers puts away. Interesting, the Bethel block was almost releasing a little bit because they, they got to stay with that note here. And they, so that was good. That was smart. Very smart set and attack, by the way. Two one nights. Payne again. For Payne, that is her 16th kill of the match. She is he, hitting seven hundred. You got it. <laughs> Mary's got to do something so they can't pass to the middle of the court. Whatever it is, tip whatever it is to keep the middle them from sitting middle. Short ball, Summers. Gets it back. A year ago, this Bethel team, they were the regular season finale for the Knights here in this building. They handed Marion not just their first loss of the conference season, but their only regular season loss a year ago. It's a Marion team that made the national semifinals. Free ball here. Brooks. Beaver off the ball. Uh, what a swing. That was that was tough. I mean, she the approach wasn't there. She did that with all her upper body. If we walk watch right here. It's like, okay. Just, I'm just gonna help take a swing, not gonna be the correct technique, but the hips aligned, but tied at three. Van Note saw the wall there and could do nothing with it. And now they're waiting. If you notice the pilots, they, they had three in the middle on serve receive. This is what they did the last set, the last couple sets. Man notes, free ball. Oh. Another free ball. Weiss. Physics are fun for the Marion Knights. Physics are fun. Come to camp. Physics are fun. Volleyball <laughs> action at the court. 
but the middles for, for Marion have, have stepped it up. Okay. And, uh, Jameson is just, I mean, she's doing some great stuff right now. And note to Sir. Weiss. Big swing and the block sends it wide. Madison Brooks, her 15th guilt. That was a great pass and the setter, smart. Reverse action on that. The tape friendly <laughs> to the home team. Physics continue to be fun. Physics Six, are fun for fifth year seniors. That is pretty funny. <laughs> It's funny from the Marion perspective. Yes, that's just that's true. They're not laughing about it up in northern Indiana. 6-4. That's true. Missed it. Just missed it. It was open. That whole seam was open. And a timeout taken by Coach Weiss and Bethel. And North Green, one of the rare times. He's kept taking a full swing of the ball, which he was kind of coming down from. And just had that, missed that contact just a little bit. This time out presented by our friends Donato's Pizza and the Jordan Hospitality Group. They believe in loving our neighbors and giving back to the communities that we serve. That's why we're proud to support both Grand University as well as Marion University Athletics. 20 locations throughout the greater Indianapolis area. Don't forget to swing by on your way home from tonight's match. Pick up one of the famous thin crust edge to edge pizzas. Good crowd as you frankly expect to see here in the PE Center. <laughs> Heads are nodding to the music, like let's get into this. Awesome wrestlers, saw the wrestling shirt. Here's Van Note. Block oh. is there. And that's the first time that Mary Louise had an answer for her yes. on a full swing tonight. Yes. Teams will change in here in set five at, once you get to eight points. So Mary's on their home court. I say their home side, that's where they start their matches. So, and the, the setter is closer to the coach. So there's communication on who's open, what to use. But Marion right now, they've had the lead in so many sets, except for that one, the four set. They need to just build on that and not, you know, just kind of sit back a little bit. So four straight for the Knights. And Van Note has just mixed in some clunkers, unfortunately, on her serve this evening. That's not fun with physics on that one. No. The Beaver will serve. That one sails long. So the teams exchange gifts, and Marion inches closer to the finish line. We are getting closer to the holidays. Black Friday sales. Six more to go. On the serve, Vendel. Short ball for North Green. Now Brooks. And Bethel couldn't peel out of the net. Here comes the timeout for Bethel. They'll take their second and final timeout of the set. Mary University is proud to partner with the Tom O'Brien Automotive family as an athletic sponsor. Thank you to the O'Brien family for your support of the Knights. So five away for Marion. What has to change, Coach? from the Bethel perspective? Um, first of all, contact. They, they, the timing has been off the last couple with the middles, but they still have an advantage going to the middle, although um, Marin's middles are a little bit focusing and their, their hand penetration is over the net. 
but they have a disadvantage with the height and the reach of the Bethel attacker. So um, just stay aggressive with the Marion team. They're, um, in fact, they're, the intensity on the court is, is higher on every contact. Every ball, every contact, they're playing with an intensity like we want to win and we want to go undefeated at home. Well, so. Marion is, is trying to do their best to ensure they don't have to leave this building until the end of November. Oh my gosh. There is a scenario where two more home games, all three in the league tournament, one more for the NAIA, so home no place like home for the Knights. It is huge in volleyball. And they're trying to beat Bethel in a regular season match for the first time in this building in three years. Weiss, big swing, block is there, but not done yet. Whitaker. Dreams a touch. Off the block and down. Okay. And note, for Skyler Van Note, they have rotated her back out here for the first time really? since the first set. That's when you see Dreams in the lineup, that's kind of the spot that she plays. Okay. So Van Note currently on the bench for Marion. Hickey yes. back to serve. Save her, save her jump. I think. Coach was talking about the backcourt might be a little bit better. Brooks, block uh, is there. Spins down on the Bethel side. Point, Marion. And Norwood used her track speed to sprint off the bench to get back on the court for Marion. And she did, excited to get there. But Brooks has been out, she, she's one of the difference makers. You know, sets three, a little bit of four. But she's been huge. Knights are four points away. Reference Brooks, 17 kills, a team high. Short ball for North Green and powers through the solo blocker of Landman. She had her hands up here, but the hands have released a little bit. Probably press on the other side, but you're hanging in the air because she's so, uh, Bethel's blocker, or excuse me, Bethel's middle is a little bit, it's way tall, so. Short ball for Landman, block is there. Good recovery by Neighbors. Seymour off the block. Short ball for Payne, and had an open corner to work with. Okay. If they get to even nine, or excuse me, 10, it's gonna be kind of a new ball game here. Fernandez to serve. Norwood, point, Bethel, that was Whitaker. And other than the four set where Bethel controlled the entire time, this has been the modus operandi. Marion has jumped in front, Bethel has reeled them back in. Marion needs to learn how to finish games, like finish it. This one has to go over and does it. Okay. And now Van Note and Lyons will rotate back through. But Mary need, needs to learn how to, okay, we have 13. Let's get three points in a row. Right, we have three points, excuse me, we have 12. We just need three, we have to earn the three. Don't expect them to lose it. Set across, big swing, great dig. And that one is stared wide. Maddie Payne had made one error the entire match. Makes her second, potentially with two points at the play in the fifth set. Okay. Let's see what happens, who they get, who they get to get the ball to. Almost an ace. What a hit. That was wonderful. For Seymour, her fifth kill of the match. I mean, nice, quick, aggressive approach. We get to see it again. And the arm swing, boom, drop the thumb, okay? Swing from the inside out. 14, Mary needs 14 before they get to 12. Van Note off the block. There's Payne and Feld. Kind of a tentative hit that time. Okay, again, you need to communicate better. You had a player that was going to rotate to get to the ball. 
going to need to sight out right now. Pivotal point of the match. Norwood. Yes. Into the net. Couldn't peel it away. Three match points for the Knights. That was a smart play by the setter and Norwood too. What? Reverse, everyone's going to release. And the defensive player had to stay back if Van Note got the ball. Most of the fans here stand and applaud. Feld. Block is there. What a play by Fernandez. But on the angle, won't cut it. Fourth touch, match over. For the second time this season, the Knights win in five. And for the first time this year, they get a victory over Bethel. 15-11 in set number five. Coach, your final thoughts on uh, this one? Bethel's a very good team. Marion had to, the pole went, they had to dig deep. So um, I'm watching them at the end when the points really mattered. The intensity, the, the eye contact on the court was very, very good. And uh, undefeated at home. With the win tonight, Marion can do no worse than the number three seed in the Crossroads League Tournament, which means we know that we'll be back here a week from Saturday, regardless of what happens next Friday, this Friday and Saturday in terms of league play. Teams will share a word of prayer at the end of this match. And with that, we will step aside uh, to make way for that at the conclusion of tonight's match. For Gene Kesterson and the entirety of our ISC Sports Network crew, we thank you for joining us on ISC and Comcast 81. Again, two big ones for Marion coming up on Friday and Saturday. Friday night, it is Indiana Wesleyan. Saturday afternoon, it is Taylor University. Again, right now, the league standings, it's Taylor 1, Marion 2, Indiana Wesleyan 3. Good night from the PE Center. And thanks for joining us for Crossroads League Volleyball here on the ISC Sports Network. Meet Chip. 30 years ago, he started a small business with a big idea. Today, there's a new building, a new fleet of equipment, and a new era of leadership. But we know Chip, and at Indiana Members Credit Union, we know he plans to keep growing, building business with the next generation. IMCU is here to help with secure and simple account management tools and commercial financing to grow business. Today, it's all about Chip. Tomorrow, it's all about you. Because at IMCU, it's you that matters. I've always liked Indianapolis. Um, I've been interested in the bigger city life. The community and everything fell into place. With my degree, I plan on becoming a pediatric nurse. Indianapolis has several hospitals and different options to choose from as to where I should go. I chose Indianapolis because I love the Pacers, I love the Colts, and this is a basketball city. Just wanted to stay in the city, play in front of my friends and family, and try to give Marion my best.